Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to improve your dribbling and how you can use it to create goal scoring chance. Dribbling is not always about spamming skill moves, even though some skill moves are very important. But you can do wonders without them. I'm going to talk about five different topics in this video, and you'll learn a lot by the end of this video. So without wasting more of your time, let's begin. When it comes to dribbling, the first and the most important aspect is your ball control and first touch. How you control the ball matter a lot when it comes to dribbling. Firstly, don't press or hold the sprint button whenever you want to receive the ball. You should only control with sprint in some situation, maybe in a counter-attack where you're running forward, or in a situation where you want to beat your opponent with the first touch. But when it comes to playing in the midfield or trying to dribble with your left stick, don't hold your sprint button on your first control. Now let's talk about where you should control your ball to. This is where most players make mistakes, because your attacking doesn't mean you have to control the ball forward. That's is why your opponent win the ball back most time you control the ball. Controlling the ball into space is an act that you need to practice and get used to it. When I say controlling into space, this is what I mean. Let's watch the clip again and show analysis. Controlling forward or to my right wing in this position is a risk. If my opponent is good at defending, he may win the ball, and that's a risk I'm not willing to take in the midfield. So anytime you want to control your ball, make sure you control into the available space, even if it means turning back. Because you want to dribble doesn't mean you should face the player immediately. Controlling into space first will help you to keep the ball possession, and it will even give you a better advantage if you want to dribble. Now, let's talk about the second topic, which is decoy. This means deceiving your opponent when dribbling. There are a lot of players that like to anticipate your movement before you even execute it. By using the decoy, you will be able to punish them with it. You can use it anywhere on the pitch, but the best place to use it is inside the box to create a clear chance. Controlling into open space in the box is something a lot of players can read and stop it. So all you have to do is bait them. Like the way I turn in this clip, he know that's where I'm going, but he's not fast enough to stop me. So there's a way you can get past those fast defenders. In this clip, my opponent has read my move and he act on it quickly. But in my mind, I have no intention of going that way. I just have to do it first so that I can delete the defender behind me and create a clear chance. This trick is very easy to perform. All you have to do is move your left analog to the first direction you want your opponent to go, then move it back to the other direction quickly. To get the best out of this trick, make sure the first move you make is to your player weak foot. So by the time you turn back to his strong foot, you will be able to shoot immediately because there's no one to block your shot. This is a good scoring chance, but unfortunately I love dribbling and wasting chances. But don't worry guys, I'm working on it. That's the first two topics. Before we move to the next one, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. You can also support me by sharing the link or just copy it. This will help in boosting my video. Thank you and God bless you. And if you have question about anything, let me know in the comments section. The next topic I'm going to talk about is the close and control dribbling. This type of dribbling is the best because it's very easy and effective. You will have the ability to manipulate your opponent and create goal scoring chance. This type of dribbling is common among players, but most players don't pay attention to it because it's very basic. In this video, I'm going to show you how effective this trick can be, and then you can also go and test it. And forward this time goes Neymar with options aplenty. It's Fernando Silva! Oh yes! It's gone in! And now... Just for example, let's assume you want to go through your opponent in a 1v1. In a situation like this, your opponent only have one motive and the move is to use stand tackle to win the ball. Your duty is to make him think that he can win the ball by tackling. To do that, you have to approach him, then turn back. Like I said earlier, if your opponent attempt a stand tackle and miss, it will be difficult for him to recover with that player. Once he missed the tackle, it will be easy for you to proceed forward. To perform this, you need to be quick with your left stick control and make sure you're not holding the sprint button. 
Make this trick your every time activity whenever you're dribbling in the box. Most players hate the pressure when defending in the box, and they want to get rid of the danger as soon as possible. This is why they use the stand tackle a lot in the box, and to be honest, I use it too. The last two topics is about how you can get through the defenders without having to turn back. So just stick with me here and let's learn more. For the lead here. With that sort of, chance... of course it would be wrong for me to talk about dribbling without mentioning the most effective skill move. When it comes to dribbling and getting past your opponent, no skill move come close to it. Yes, I'm talking about step over exit. This skill move has multiple purpose in the game. You can use it as a speed boost, you can use it to get past your opponent, you can also use it to change your direction when dribbling. To perform the step over, move your right analog a bit up or down in a circular motion. The exit is what makes the skill move effective, because you can exit to any direction of your choice. You can even exit backward. While performing the step over, make sure you're holding the sprint button, and then use your left stick to decide where you want to exit toward. The exit direction matter a lot when performing step overs. If you perform step over only without exit, your play will not get past anyone. There's another situation in which you can make use of your step over effectively. If you receive the ball in a position like this, you can use the speed boost to beat your opponent defender. Now let's move to the last topic, which is control sprint dribbling. Controlled sprint is a new skill in FC24 which allow you to keep the ball so close to your feet and move faster. You know that you have to take your hands off the sprint button when dribbling with your left stick. So to perform the control sprint dribbling, hold R1 while dribbling with the left stick. This will let your player dribble like he has magnet in his feet. And to make the move unstoppable, use a player with technical or press proven playstyle. This type of players are so hard to contain when using the control sprint. That will be all for now. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you. Abby Lee. And it's with Christos Stoichkov. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. And a goal. It was so.